didn't know this nigga actually was kind of a cool rapper, but yeah. So, Post Malone, after dropping the number one, I won't say number one here, but smash record, uh, White Iverson, he finally dropped off a mixtape. This is my first time hearing this project, and as a rapper, I mean, it's really nothing special about him, in my opinion. You know what I mean? He does the whole melodic, singing, rappy type, harmonizing music that a lot of artists do. Um, I'm guessing his debut album come out uh, August 26th. That's why this mixtape is called August 26th. Got a couple features on here, Lil Yachty, Jaden Smith. T.O. or Tao, 2 Chains, Larry June, and it, basically this is like on some type swag rap type shit. Um, never understood, starts it off. Um, Larry June definitely did a good job. Don't know much about him. Definitely enjoyed the hook. Uh, the production is very mellow. To me, it seems to be about success, but I could be wrong. I didn't fuck with the 2 Chains record. It, sorry, I couldn't do it. Um, Get With You is a cool song for the club strip club uh seemed definitely like a a stripper anthem if you want to call it that that's just my personal opinion uh goddamn featuring first another artist uh that i've never heard of definitely enjoyed the dbz reference and if y'all don't know what that is it's dragon ball z reference thought that was pretty dope uh definitely swag rap um it could be about a chick that's what i'm thinking or whatever the case may be but what else will make you say goddamn or he could be referring to a car or a lifestyle or him just having money or whatever the case may be. Either way, that record was solid. The Jeremiah record, I didn't fuck with that. Uh, 40 Funk, I didn't fuck with that. And it was co-produced by I Love McConan, which was even more weirder. Uh, Monty featuring Lil Yachty. I don't know too much about Lil Yachty other than he does similar music to uh, the likes of Young Thug, um, the homie Lil Uzi Vert. But honestly, Yachty was decent. This is my first time hearing anything from him. You know, definitely a melodic song. Definitely liked the production. Um, it was it was dope. You know, I was like, wow, this song is pretty fucking cool. You know what I mean? Um, don't know if I really check out little Yachty music. I mean, I think if I heard Little Uzi, Young Thug, and people like that, I've heard enough. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different artist, similar music in a way. But moving on to Hollywood Dream slash Calm Down. Um, it's definitely a cover song uh, from Fleetwood Mac. Uh, I like the second song, Come Down, more than I like Hollywood Dreams. The Hollywood Dreams production is cool, but Come Down just has a different type of vibe to me. And I always definitely listen to it like, wow, this shit is actually decent. You know, I, I ran it back, of course. Um, and I listened to the live mixtape version, and this version has 10 songs. Um, then it gets into the number nine, Lonely, featuring Jaden Smith and Teo or Teo. To me, it's about a female, of course. Definitely love the background vocals. Very melodic. Production was on point. Um, shocked to see Jaden Smith on this shit. You know what I mean? His last tape was pretty solid as well. Don't know what is he doing with himself. I don't know why he doesn't, you know, put the dresses down and definitely get back in the studio. But that's another point of another day. <laughs> and going into track 10, oh, God. Oh, no. I just can't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But overall, man, 10 records is not bad. You know, uh, nine if you heard it on that piff. Uh, but the tracks that I did fuck with, you know what I mean? I can see me listening to these, you know what I mean? On some mellow type move, smoking a good blunt, just cooling out. You know, I definitely can listen to these six tracks. Um, I give it a five and a half out of ten, you know. Um, will I be trying to check out his debut album? Probably not. You know, the production's about a five out of ten. You know, will I listen to it? Uh, maybe. But I'm not going to just listen to it just for a review. And I kind of listened to this project and was thinking, hmm, how many people actually like Post Malone as an artist? Or are you just reviewing it for clickbait or just to get a review out there to get views and numbers? Because at first, I was not going to listen to this. But the first song had me interested. And then I seen Jaden Smith definitely had me interested in Little Yachty. So my reason for listening to this was artists that I've seen or heard of or never heard of that had me intrigued enough to check this body of work out. And I did like White Iverson. Even though a lot of people didn't fuck with it, I thought that song was very dope. You know what I mean? So that's why I checked it out. But overall, I mean, it's a fair mixtape. It's cool. Let me know if y'all enjoyed it. If you did, what three songs you thought are the best on this tape? All right, one.